So Nintendo, they, they couldn't get us a Switch Pro. They're getting us the OLED model instead. Very minor improvements, right? Well, if that disappointed you, maybe this would tickle that tank, get you a little excited. Valve is releasing the Steam Deck. A lot of us knew this was coming. We didn't really know everything that en entailed. And we didn't realize how soon it was coming. So today I want to talk about this thing. Pre-orders go live tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., July 16th. So if you're interested, you better keep an eye on it. These things are going to be flying for real. There's three configurations. And there's a caveat for pre-ordering. There's going to be like a deposit you have to make. And it's only going to be open to people who have a Steam account who have previously purchased something on Steam prior to the month of June of this year. If you just made an account hoping to grab one of these, they're trying to combat like scalpers and resellers and stuff like that. So you've had to have made a previous purchase prior to like this month, I guess is the way they're trying to say it. And then it'll open up, I believe, 48 hours later for people who made fresh accounts, right? Or who have never purchased anything before. Interesting that they're doing it that way. Look at this thing, man. Just take that in. I like how the triggers, the uh, shoulder buttons, the R1, R2, and then R4 and R5 on the back. And same thing on both sides. I, you know, I guess thumbsticks are... Uh, L3, R3, but that, that's cool, man. This thing's looking pretty slick. I know a lot of companies have been making portable PCs, but there's so much more to this. It's like a Switch. It has a dock, too. The hell? They're, they're getting into it, man. They're getting into it. I think this is pretty cool stuff. There's going to be three configurations here. On this page, I'll put a link down below. Available to reserve now, which is actually tomorrow, and they're going to be shipping in December, starting to ship in December. So there's going to be multiple variations. We'll talk about that in a second. Portability meets power. We've partnered with AMD to create Steam Deck's custom APU, optimized for handheld gaming. It's a Zen 2 plus RDNA 2 powerhouse, delivering more than enough power to run the latest AAA games in a very efficient power envelope. Your Steam library, and you, I'm, I'm digging this. Like I said, there's been a lot of companies who've made little portable PCs, handhelds, and you know a lot of people have been into them, but... A company as big as Valve jumping into this is what people are really waiting for. To have a big name behind it. Not to knock any other devices out there, but this is cool, man. This is cool. Your Steam library anywhere. I'm excited for this thing, man. I have a pretty big Steam library. Con control with comfort. I think they're they're posting that there to say, hey, we ain't got no, uh, no, no Joy-Con drift. It's built for extended play sessions, whether you're using thumbsticks or trackpads with full-size control positioned perfectly within your reach. I would put down here, no drift, no drift. They can't make like those guarantees, man. They don't want to get in trouble, I, I would guess. There's a dock too. The like They don't have like an actual picture or render of the dock. It doesn't look like it anyway. We'll, we'll search through this more. But the dock kind of reminds me like the dock for the analog pocket, the way they, they presented that. It looks like same thing. Like, boop, just pop it in. That's cool, man. The official dock will be sold separately. More information coming soon. Uh, props up your st uh, Steam Deck while connecting to external displays, uh, wired networks, USB peripherals, and power. You can also use USB-C hub if you got one lying around. Oh, okay. Wait, are they saying like if you have a USB hub that you could use that instead of the dock? I'm not sure what they mean with that. Um, can also use a powered... Huh, okay, okay, whatever. So they do have an FAQ here. There is a reservation fee. I'm not sure what the reservation fee is yet, but it is like goes towards your purchase. It's just, um, they state the main reason for a reservation is to ensure an orderly and fair ordering process uh, for customers when Steam Deck inventory becomes available. The additional fee gives us a clear signal of intent of purchase, which gives us better data to balance the supply chain. Makes sense. I, I, I can appreciate that. Why is my account not able to reserve until Sunday? See, this is what I was talking about. Unauthorized resellers, and as an additional safeguard to ensure fair ordering, we've added a requirement the reserver has made a purchase on Steam prior to June 21st for the first 48 hours of availability for the reservation. So if you just made an account or you had an account and you never bought anything, you're going to have to wait 48 hours. So if they still have pre-orders going, um, definitely if you have to pre-order on Sunday you're probably going to get yours a little later than December maybe, but I would still imagine the December uh, shipping date 
it's probably just going to keep rolling out, like depending on when you pre-ordered. You, you know, I don't think everybody's going to get theirs the same time is what I'm saying. Just kind of makes sense. Unless it was like all released in stores and you go pick it up. Uh, when will I be able to order? Aiming to send out invitations by December, make every effort to convert all reservations to orders, but we're not able to guarantee availability. So yeah, you're making reservations, you're putting a little deposit on it, but it doesn't guarantee shit. We'll see. Can I cancel it? Yeah, you can. If you cancel within 30 days, you'll be refunded whatever your payment method is. If it's after 30 days, it's to your Steam wallet. Buy some more shit from us, bitch. <laughs> Region uh, customers, US, Canada, and the European Union and United Kingdom can reserve the Steam Decks. Keep that in mind. If you're in other regions, it ain't happening, homie. How many Steam Decks can I reserve? One. So you better make your choice because there's three of them. We'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we don't, I'll, you guys can read all this. Um, so I'll, I'll put a link in the description. Is the reservation queue regional? Yes, queued. Uh, expected order availability times are specific to each region. Uh, can I change? Uh, once you, you're you able to order, you can only purchase the Steam Deck model that you reserved. So yes, make a make a, a decision there. Once your reserved Steam Deck is available and you complete your purchase, you'll be charged. So you're not going to pay up front on this reservation. It's going to be whatever the fee is. And then once they like, hey, it's ready to be ordered, then they'll ask you for the rest of the money. Okay, so let's go to the next thing, tech specs. And then we have... Uh, the, the pricing to look at tech specs. So, you know, little, little, uh, diagram here. We don't care. We know what the buttons are. Seven inch touch screen, some track pads on both sides, quick access button, left and right speakers. Okay. Volume control up top fans, some, uh, micro SD card slot, expand that memory speeds and feeds processor, AMD APU Zen two, uh, 2.4 to 3.5 gigahertz up to 448 G flops. A GPU 8 RDNA 2 CUs, 1 to 1.6 gigahertz, up to 1.6 terafloppies. What? APU power is 4 to 15 watts. Okay. I mean, this isn't going to be like the most top end, like powerhouse graphics PC in the world, but the way they're designing it, I mean, it's going to be cool on the go type thing. They're, they're making their own little console, man. They're making their version of the Switch. Uh, control HD haptics. That's pretty cool. Trackpad. You have two 32.5 millimeter square trackpads with haptic feedback. Like I remember the um, the Steam controllers with the little like pads and like how they felt weird. I, I actually like that controller. I have a couple of them. Um, those are pretty cool. You have gyroscope built in. Resolution 1280 by 800. 1610 aspect ratio. Okay. Uh, I know people. Oh, I want. I want 4K. Well, I wonder if, uh, if it uh, supports 4K plugged into a TV. We'll see. We'll see. Optically bonded LCD for enhanced readability. 400 nits, 60 hertz refresh rate, touch, touch enabled. Yeah, of course. Ambient light sensor. Oh, okay. We have Bluetooth 5.0, uh, Wi-Fi. You have your dual band, all that good stuff going on there. Audio channels, stereo with embedded DSP for an immersive listening experience. Dual microphone array. 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone, multi-channel audio via display port over USB. Cool. And then power information, battery, 400 watt hour battery, two to eight hours of gameplay. Mm, I mean, we could always want more. Could always want more. Expansion, micro uh, SD supports SD, SDXC, SDHC, so got you covered on those micro SD cards. They're always going on sale, man. I've got plenty of them. I don't need to be prepared for this. I've got like a 400 gig sitting around. I'll just pop in this thing if I can get one. Size, 298 millimeters by 117 by 49 millimeters. Weight, 669 grams. Operating system is SteamOS 3.0. Okay. And then here's the, uh, the official dock. Okay. DisplayPort 1.4, USB 3, two USB 2s, power in, HDMI 2.0, USB-C cable to Steam Deck. All right. There's all the information. Uh, HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.4. Get your hands on that deck. So there you go. I mean, not every single bit of information people would want, but most of it, I would imagine. So like I said... This thing does go live 
um, for reservations tomorrow. And there's three of the, uh, the uh, models here. So let's take a look here. Uh, three options. There are no in-game differences with frame rates or graphics quality. So essentially, this is just like the memory that's built in is what you're getting. And then a few other little perks. So the base model is $399, 64 gigabytes. And that's going to be an EMMC internal storage. And it comes with a carrying case. They're not like they could have just sold this and been like, you got to buy the carrying case for $50. They're including it with each option. So that's cool. Looks like you get an exclusive one if you pay more though. Okay. So there's that $400 is the starting point. Okay. The next one, 256 gigabytes, 529. You're paying another $130. No. Yeah. $130. Let's just fucking do the math for a second. $130 for 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD. So you're getting faster storage, carrying case, and an exclusive uh, Steam Community Profile Bundle. That's probably worth something to a lot of people here, I I'm, I'm sure. The next one up, the one I'm sure a lot of people are going to um, go after, 512 gigabytes SSD and VME, the fastest storage, okay, sweet balls, premium anti-glare etched glass, what? Exclusive carrying case, so you get an exclusive one, exclusive Steam community profile, an exclusive virtual keyboard theme. That's the one I'm going for simply because it's the bigger memory, has a few extra perks. I'm going to try for that, put my reservation in on that. They say they start shipping in December, so just right around the corner, but I would imagine these will float into the following year. I'm excited for this. This is pretty cool stuff, man. I have a lot of games on Steam that I don't really get to play too often, and to be able to have this and just play some of my Steam games, I, I think that's pretty cool, man. I, I welcome stuff like this, like Nintendo. Uh, Valve is on your ass with this one, man. A little bit more expensive, quite a bit more expensive. But hey, I mean, it, it's like the same thing as the Switch here. Like, you're not getting a lot of memory. Like, for $399, like, that's, you're getting 64 gigabytes. It's very close to what the um, OLED model of the Switch is, like $50 more. I, I mean, which would you rather have? Switch has tons of games, awesome games, exclusive stuff. Steam. If you're in the Steam PC gaming, you know what's up with this. A lot of people are going to be freaking jumping for joy to get this thing. So, hey, guys, I, I really do appreciate every single one of y'all hanging out with me. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you going to try to grab one of these? I'm looking forward to it. It's a little pricey, but you know what? Fuck it. You only live once. Let's make it happen. Enjoy yourselves. Give you guys a big ass thumb, but appreciate y'all. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.